Hey yo guys, what is up? It is Dakota here, and well, I'm just gonna be saying uh, most of the stuff that has been confirmed in COD Ghost so far. So with the multiplayer trailer that came out yesterday and some of the stuff that my friend has told me, I'm going to just tell you most of the things I have noticed or have been told that is in this game. So first, let's start with the weapons. We have a CZ805 Bren, which is an assault rifle. We have an AK, some sort of AK. We don't know if it's a 47 or some stuff like that. We have a Vector, which is a submachine gun or a personal defense weapon. We have an MTAR-21, that is an assault rifle. A UMP-45, which is a PDW or a submachine gun. FNFAL, which is an uh, assault rifle. It is semi-automatic. We have an M4A1, which is another assault rifle. AAC Honey Badger. Honey Badger don't give a shit. It's a submachine gun slash a personal defense weapon. We have a SCAR H or a SCAR L. It's an assault rifle. We have an APS underwater rifle, which is an assault rifle slash a harpoon. We have a Galil, which is an assault rifle. M16A3, which is an assault rifle, three round burst. ARX 160, that's an assault rifle. ACR assault rifle, M14 assault rifle, and it's semi automatic. We have an unknown sniper rifle, which is possibly the L96. This has been confirmed that it is the L11. 5A something like that L1115A something like that it's in one of Ali A's videos so if you want to just go check that out and we have an unknown shotgun which is possibly the M1014 for lethals and tacticals we have a throwing knife Jehovah's Witness claims he saw it at gameplay at E3 and I believe I saw an EMP grenade of some sort so confirmed attachments we have a hybrid sight ACOG sight silencer grenade launchers Grip slash foregrip, red dot, and holographic sights. There have been some perks, but I'm not going to go into detail with that because I'm not really sure if they are confirmed or not. Um, maps for multiplayer, we have Free Fall, which is, uh, I'm pretty sure you get that from pre-ordering Ghosts. It says it will occur in the halls of a crumbling skyscraper that is on the brink of destruction. We have Octane, I have... No um, description for that. And we have Strike Zone, which takes place in an old baseball stadium. So, f moving on to kill streaks. Kill streak packages are just the same like they were in MW3. You have support, specialist, and assault. You earn points for taking down enemy streaks, destroying objectives, capturing objectives, and kills. For the assault package, they've made more kill streaks on the ground, not all in the air anymore. UAV is now called the SATCOM and is placed in the map. Um, for the support package, they've made the streaks more bit support-based, like MW3 support. And if you die on a streak, it still continues, so support's just like MW3. And for specialists, it's the same as MW3. You unlock perks as you get more kills. Customization. For multiplayer, there will be a character customization. It is also rumored that you can make your own character, a male or a female. I'm pretty sure that's true. Create a soldier. With this soldier, you will have the ability to customize your character, your loadout, your perks, and so much more. For your loadouts, you will get 8 points to choose 4 perks only. Kill streaks and detachments don't count towards the points. Primary weapons, secondary weapons, lethal, and tacticals have their own point limits. So basically what this is saying is that you have 8 points for perks. Some perks may cost something, I don't know, like 3 points, and some perks may cost like 1 point. So essentially you could be running around with 8 1 point perks or you could be running around with 3 perks. You could have 2 3 points and a 2 point. And there's also squad points coming in the Ghost multiplayer which determines that where you can unlock wh what you can unlock when. You choose what attachments, guns, perks, etc. what you want to unlock. If you have enough squad points you can unlock whichever ones you want at any time. Um, that is basically saying like for the squad points, if you get squad points, it's kind of like a prestige shop in MW3 where you could unlock a certain gun and then would go into the next prestige. I'm pretty sure that's what they're trying to get at. But some we have some extras, new future, new fe features. Sorry, Call of Duty Ghost will support a competitive multiplayer, so that means that the multiplayer is going to be more like Black Ops 2 instead of MW3, where MW3 was based more on connection purposes and Black Ops 2 is based more on skill level purposes. And the dog from campaign will be kind of used like an escort drone. It will follow you around and kill people. You have co-op campaign mode. You have lean in and lean out while by a wall. While jumping over objects, you can continue to shoot your weapon. So it's kind of like Battlefield. Sliding, which has the same concept as dolphin diving. DLC will come first to Xbox slash Xbox One. That's 
Microsoft's shit. I really don't care about that anyway. It's just a month. Infinity Ward will be trying out some new things by introducing the concept of dynamic loading screens. For example, one player might rappel down from a helicopter while another player might have to break some glass and sneak into the map. New game modes. We have Search and Rescue. It's sort of like, it's a lot like Essence Search and Destroy. But when you die, you drop a dog tag. And if a teammate picks up that dog tag, you get revived. But if an enemy picks up that dog tag, you are dead for the rest of the round. We have Cranked, which is similar to TDM with a faster pace. When you get a kill, you will get a fast movement, but with a countdown timer, you'll explode if you don't finish before the clock of 30 seconds is up. And then we have Infected. So yeah, that's basically everything that's been confirmed in this game so far. So if you guys like, please be sure to leave a comment down below, subscribe to my channel, and like the video. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.